Hey everybody, my name is Mark and today we're talking about film burns. Traditionally, light leaks and film burns are considered a problem when shooting film. They're caused by extra unwanted light hitting the celluloid. As much of a pain as they are to deal with, they can be used stylistically in our own videos. Film burns and light leaks have been used as video transition elements for a while now. It's definitely not a brand new concept, but there are a ton of creative ways to use the same technique in new and interesting ways. Now keep in mind these aren't 4K super high res quality because I'm dealing with 8mm, super 8mm most of the time, but that unique look of 8mm, that grainy kind of flawed look is part of what I love about these elements. Let me show you some examples of how these film elements can be used in your edits. Now I just use that as a very simple example on how you can kind of layer these effects on top of one another to achieve a certain look. The next example I'm going to show you is how you may combine these elements with sound effects into a TV broadcast. Parks, let me rhyme off some of the things that you do that make you a great wakeboarder. You just won the Pro Tour. You are a reigning wake stock champion. Everybody loves you. I've just always had an outlook of just go out there and have fun and just do my own thing and not worry about like contests and my whole image thing. I just want to do my own thing. You do a lot of crazy things. You do a lot of dangerous things, a lot of things that push the envelope. Does it scare you sometimes? Uh, yeah. You, you definitely get nervous. Like, I wouldn't say scared is a word because you definitely can't be scared coming into gaps. Like when you know you, if you slip up, you slip out the back and you're shaking and you're sketchy on it, that's what's going to happen. You yeah. got to be fully in your head, I'm going to make it, and you got to know you're going to make it. There was a quote last year that you had at the end of the contest that has been used all over the place, and I'm going to repeat it, so we're going to need a beep, guys, in editing. Get ready for the beep. You said, Hey, this is how every wakeboard contest should be right here. This is, the, this is pretty much the only contest where they build like special sliders just for an event. It's the only contest where you have tons of crazy ass Canadians like right six feet away from you but every time you hit a slider. That's the only contest where they have like legit bands comes to play. So I think it's a combo of the three and just for the fact that we've had good weather by chance every year and I don't know, it all seems to work out. Canada loves having cool. you and you love being in Canada. So. And I love Canada. Go Maple Leafs. There are two ingredients to making a great wakeboarder. Steel jimmies. And fresh creativity. Here's a textbook lesson courtesy of Parks Bonifay. Okay, now I've shown you these two examples. Let me show you how you can apply these effects in Adobe Premiere. Now keep in mind, you can actually apply these effects in other editing programs like Avid or Final Cut Pro but today I'm just gonna do it in Premiere. So here's just some B-roll that I have. So I wanna apply some of these effects. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply this film burn light leak here at the edge of the frame. Drag this onto the clip and see, there we go. So I zoom in and click on my effects tab and then scroll down to my blend tool. It gives me a blended image. That's not quite contrasty enough, so I'm gonna put that to add. So there we go, got some film grain and some light leak on the edge of the frame there. So I'm just gonna carry it through to the cut there. So that's where I transition. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a flash frame over that transition. Put my flash here. Go to the cut, paste it, um, double click on that, go to my effects tab, and I'm going to go to this to add. Let's see. And the idea here is to center your cut over the white frame. So the white frame is your transitional point. 
Boom. And I guess you can... I'm just gonna keep this film effect going. With the duration of the shot. And I'm gonna copy that on the next cut. Boom, there we go. All right, so that's centered. I'm gonna take this kind of colorful burn, just burn out at the very end. Paste this on the V3. Set my blend mode to screen. This one I'm gonna go for the high contrast. Boom, and it just kind of pops out. So that's it, that's how you do it right there. And if you really want to get creative, and I think it really helps actually, is to add um, kind of a sound design to those pops. So here I've done an example, or a bit of a, bit of a record snap here. It just helps sell the transition a bit better. Yeah, well that's it. It's super easy to apply these effects and depending on how into it you want to get, you can achieve some really interesting results when you combine all the elements with proper sound and in the context where it works. So now the part you've probably all been waiting for is a link to where you can find these elements, which I've left actually in the description if you haven't noticed it already. Feel free to post any questions you have with the application of these effects or the use of these effects, um, but I'm telling you straight up right now, these are 100% yours to use because this is a creative space. Like I love sharing ideas and content and this is that's what I want this space to be, just a place where we can all kind of have good creative discussions, share information, and once in a while share elements. And maybe do a giveaway once in a while. Maybe? Giveaway? Well that's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful or like free stuff, hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, then consider subscribing. I've got a lot more coming down the pipe. On that note, that is it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.